Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Data Pioneer from the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and today I wanted to bring you a quick news story that I saw out on ZDNet. Uh, couldn't help but notice. Uh, I got it through my um, tiny, tiny RSS news feeds uh, for um, really simple syndication. Uh, that's where I get most of my news alerts and my, my news period. And um, this one caught my eye at uh, ZDNet, um, and it is an article about a U.S. student um, who allegedly is building or had built a custom Gen 2 Linux distro for ISIS, and that's the title of the article. Uh, Chicago student now faces up to 20 years in prison if found guilty. Um, U.S. student was allegedly building a custom Gen 2 Linux distro for ISIS. It's unbelievable. Um, the article is by Catalan uh, Sampanu for Zero Day, November 19th, 2019. Uh, so let's get into it here. U.S. authorities have arrested and charged a 20-year-old student from Chicago for providing material support to ISIS. According to court documents, the teen allegedly created a Python script to automate saving ISIS multimedia from official social, social media channels so other members could repost it on their own accounts and help spread the terrorist group's propaganda. Furthermore, the student, Thomas Osadinsky, 20, from Chicago, also promised to build a lightweight Gen 2 Linux distro for the ter terrorist organization. Quote, I will begin a, uh, I will, it says began, but it should be, I will begin a new and very valuable project, unquote, the student wrote in an online uh, discussion with an undercover FBI agent in March this year. This is how I apparently got caught. Quote, I will be developing a custom Gen 2 Linux version designed for Ansar ISIS supporters. It can be run on any computer and will be very lightweight, fast, and secure, unquote. Osadensky allegedly told the FBI undercover agent that he would develop the Gen 2 Linux distro on his own and publish project updates in an online chat room. Uh, quote, it will be very secure in Shala. It will only browse social media platform one. When there are no less things installed, the operating system is harder to hack, unquote, Osadensky allegedly said. The operating system was designed to prevent exploitation by intelligence agencies, quote unquote. By May, Osadensky shared a screenshot uh, of the InDev Gen 2 Linux distro with another FBI undercover agent, saying it would be, quote, available for the Ansar ISIS supporters very soon, unquote. During this conversation, Osadensky again reiterated that the OS would be harder to hack by quote-unquote, Crusader intelligence agencies. However, progress on the Linux distro stalled with Osadinsky telling undercover agents that building the OS is, quote-unquote, hard work and requires, quote-unquote, a lot of studying. The FBI said Osadinsky had the technical uh, chops to pull it off as he had taken several collegiate-level computer science classes at DePaul such as Python for programmers. I'm taking that now, actually, studying to be a Python programmer. Information Systems, Applied Networks, and Security and Computer Science 1 and 2. Fellow news site CyberScoop also pointed out that, according to Osadinsky's LinkedIn page, the student also worked for two months as a software tester for BlackBerry Silence, a cybersecurity startup. However, the company denies this. Quote, according to our records, this individual has never been an employee or contractor for silence, unquote, a spokesperson said in an emailed statement. If found guilty for providing material support to ISIS, Osadensky faces up to 20 years in prison. Um, remarkable. Um, th this is what I call, um, you know, terrorism within our own borders, um, and it's it's a horrible thing. Uh, we've got here a U.S. citizen, obviously a U.S. citizen uh, student uh, who has allegedly indicated to undercover agents of the FBI 
that he's building a custom Gen 2 Linux distro for ISIS for their use uh, to cyber stalk the United States and to do various things. And it's really horrible. It's really a terrible shame. Uh, domestic terrorism within our own borders linked to uh, international terrorism with the ISIS group. And, uh, and so it'd be interesting to see what happens. Uh, he is a Chicago student. I lived in Chicago for three years. Um, and um, so I know where DePaul University is. I'm very familiar with it. It is, it is a, a really a shame that uh, we, we see this kind of thing. But I wanted to bring this to you on ZDNet uh, article. And so if you, uh, you think this article is good, go ahead and click the uh, link down below. If you uh, want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, button and uh, hit that bell next to it. Uh, so that you'll be updated every time, um, or alerted every time I update a video, rather, to YouTube. And so, this has been an article from ZDNet about domestic terrorism linked to international terrorism with ISIS. Have a nice day, and take care. Bye-bye.